name is Afolabi Sodik Ayo from Physics with Electronics Department, Ogun State Institute of Technology, Ibesa, Ogun State. Um, I have constructed a device which is named Automatic Fixed Marks and Body Temperature Scanning Entry Barrier, which um, scan whatever we want to enter a particular entrance by checking whether they put on the, um, the face marks and at the same time checking the temperature of that particular person. Now there are some certain conditions that must be met before the gate which is known as the barrier will open. If the person is putting on the face marks properly then it will allow the person to check for the temperature. But if the person is not putting on the face marks properly or the person is not putting on the face marks then it will tell the person, please wear your face mask. So if the face mask has been detected, then followed by the temperature, it will tell the person to scan the temperature of the body by placing the hand five centimeters away from the temperature sensor. So once the temperature has met the certain condition that has been programmed into the work, which is less than 38 degrees Celsius, because the normal body temperature is within 37.5 degrees Celsius, definitely the person can enter, in which the gate will open automatically. As you can see this person walking towards the machine, it will detect the face and tell the person, tell the person to wear the face mask because he is not putting on the face mask. Now this person still stand there without the face mask repeatedly. It will still tell the person, put on your face mask, please wear your face mask. Then, in the third time, this person is putting on his face mask, then the machine say, please, um, face mask detected. Now, the next stage is to check the body temperature. The machine instructed this person to put his hand five centimeters away from the temperature sensor to check his body temperature and his body temperature has been sensed, which is written on the liquid crystal display, and the gate automatically opened, and the person enter the place. My name is Akin Badi Fatai Sunday, head of the Space Unit in the Central Department. Uh, so I was also to Sodik Afolabi on the project uh, Temperature and Face Mark Detector machine. By the name, face mark and temperature detecting machine is a machine that is versatile in the area of temperature measurement and detection of a face mask, whether face mask is on or not. As we all know that the, in the entire world today, there are a lot of uh, issues with uh, communicable diseases that can easily be transmitted from one point to another through the physical contact. In order to prevent this kind of a challenge, there is a need for us to look into what kind of a device that can be used to prevent physical contact so that uh, we can easily isolate infected persons from non-infected persons. And that reason for this machine that was, you know, produced by this um, this student to ensure that uh, in the in the garden we are you know we are more than two of course we need to prevent or to protect each other from the spread of a particular disease such as Ebola that just came recently the issue of um, COVID-19 that the major transmission is physical contact to the students and other view, but with the, what, which depends on the temperature changes. Yeah, because one of the 
yeah, sen uh, sensitivity of this uh, machine is that it will detect the temperature. If your thinner is above normal, you, you, you are suspected to have contacted a pipeline emitter or the other. So for that reason, this, this machine will detect the, the temperature if it's normal. The spread of this, this can also be uh, uh, spread through the sneezing, coughing, and what, what, what. Not to prevent that, you must over cover your mouth, cover your nose, and what have you. So the, with the face mask, of course, this can be also prevented. So if the machine is able to detect all this and the thinner is normal, automatically the barrier be open for the person to enter the premises. When some people are not putting on face marks, the machine will tell them to put on their face marks. And now, when it comes to a temperature aspect, since the people are available to be used as an experiment and not having high body temperature, so we improvise a lighter to detect or uh, to be used as a high body temperature because the lighter temperature will be more than 38 degrees Celsius. So when the lighter is being placed, when it gets to the point of checking body temperature, the lighter is detected to be 54 degrees Celsius. So the gate will not open. So this is also implying that if a person that has checked the body on the face marks, putting on the face marks correctly, and the body temperature of that person is high, so definitely the gate will not open. But when the person temperature is normal, then the gate will automatically open. Therefore, these conditions must be met before the gate will open. Face marks must be detected and the body temperature must be at normal range, which is less than 38 degrees Celsius. My name remains Balogo Samuel Nulufemi, the head of Department Science Laboratory Technology Department of the State Institute of Technology, IBESA. Here in this department, we raise not only academic students, but we equally raise students with moral values, coupled with entrepreneurial skills. They are not just scientists, but they are scientists who develop their technological know-how, and we can see their skills manifest in various fields. Recently, one of the projects that caught our attention is a product developed by Sodik, uh, HND2 student, physics with electronics depart, uh, unit. This device has to do with the COVID-19 experience where we want to cope the spread of COVID-19 that is still very much around with us. In that light, he developed this machine that can interface with your fingers, your face, and permission for entry. So, if you are not permitted, it means there's something wrong, you didn't put on your face mask, and perhaps your temperature is beyond normal that can infest others. So when the machine discovered that you have put on your face mask, you are protected, you have your fingerprints, and you have your uh, hands, your temperature read normal, then it will allow you to enter. Now, one of the major reasons why I picked this, um, I chose this uh, work as my project topic um, is because of what has been going on especially for the prevention of diseases, which is mostly COVID-19, that has happened so far in 2019. And if you look at it, these diseases can be prevented by putting on the face marks and checking con um, body temperature regularly. And also, checking of body temperature regularly is also one of the key important in health, um, in health monitoring by knowing your temperature at a uh, frequent time. Now, this work is being imp uh, implemented using some algorithm, using Python, using TensorFlow, using Keras, using uh, OpenCV library and others. By simulating some um, work using a uh, Pro2 software also, 
in order to check whether this work will eventually work for the function initially planned for. And after that, I also um, got the components and assembled the component together and used um, internet to program this. Because after the programming, I used um, Python to program it. And after the programming, I as, um, implemented the program into the system. Because one major key microprocessor that is used is known as the Raspberry Pi, which functions as a computer in this case. So after that, I also implement it by getting some components in order to make sure to be in a real-time project. Because it's supposed to be at a prototype, but I chose to do it in a real time so that it can be used in various organizations like schools, shopping malls, and other places in which we want to prevent the spread of diseases. Of course, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy to be a part of this. And I'm happy I'm close to the person that did this. You know, when you're talking about faith, everybody's always happy to be part of it. And I would like to implore every one of us out there that when you're doing something like this, the working part and the labor part of this is not easily recognized. But by the time you are done doing it, everybody wants to know you. I know, and as you try, the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, so um, I'm amazed by the project, and this is something big, and this is something big, and you know, looking for problem and solving it. So this is like a good thing in our society, and I would wish that so many people come in, like come in and get to see this project. So, um, I really appreciate Almighty Allah for what He has done in my life from the beginning and to this time, and I pray Almighty God continue to help me what on whatever I wanted to do. Um, I would like to appreciate my parents for the support they've um, rendered right from the date of birth until now. And I'll have, I would like to appreciate my amiable supervisor, Mr. Akimbade Fatai Sunday, for the support he has given. Because without him, I'm not sure I'll be able to implement, I'm not sure I'll be able to construct this device today because he really supported me financially, morally, and other aspects. And I will have to I would like to appreciate the head of department, Science Laboratory Technology, for what he has done and the encouragement he has given me. And I have to appreciate my friends, my family members, my sisters, my brothers, and every other party for what they've done in my life. And I also like to appreciate the Ogitech chat room members for the congratulatory messages and the goodwill messages they sent to me. May Almighty God continue to protect and bless everyone in that area. And I also like to appreciate the Oga Award for the award given, which is the most intelligent student of 2022 section. And I also appreciate the Student Union Government for selecting me as the Student Union Electoral Committee Chairperson 2022 section. And I also appreciate my department entirely, all the lecturers that taught me from the ND throughout the HND level two. I also like to appreciate the former rector, Mrs. Akikulore, and the acting deputy rector, Mr. Udutola, and the OGTEC at large, the teaching staff, the non-teaching staff, even the cleaner. I appreciate everyone for the support and the goodwill messages they sent to me. Thank you all. I really appreciate your support. May Almighty God help you all.